Okay, hi, Sheila. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Very good. Are you I can't believe I'm doing this. It's exciting, isn't it? Yes, I'm really excited. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so um, what are you here for today? How can I, like, why, yeah, why are you here? Well, I am here because I am completely um, scared. <laughs> um, I, I uh, to make a long story short, um, I started taking writing lessons a, a long, long time ago, maybe 20 more years ago. I took a few lessons. The horse took off on me in the arena. Uh, I could not stop the horse. I fell off and broke a rib. And then I got back on. After a while, I took some more lessons, but I always have this picture in my head of the horse taking off on me, and I cannot get rid of that. So I, I took you know a few more lessons for a while, and then I stopped. And then it was about probably 10, 15 years went by until I got on a horse again and, you know, scared to death. So I had to build up my, my, my bravery a little bit. And then about six years ago, I got my own horse and she's very sweet. Everybody loves her, you know, sweet, mellow horse. Um, so I was starting to get a little bit braver riding around a little bit. And then like it was about three years ago, she kind of took off and I, I mean, I probably could have stopped her, but I was so panicked that I didn't do anything. I just had my hands up in the air and I'm saying to myself, why is she doing this to me? Why is she doing this to me? But I didn't do anything about it because I was just too freaked out. Fell off again. I didn't hurt my, I mean, I was hurt, but not bad, nothing broken. And um, so that was like three years ago. She hasn't done anything like that since. But um, lately, I'm more scared than I ever before, and I don't know why. I mean, nothing's happened. I'm just more scared than ever. Every time I get on the horse, I expect a catastrophe. Gross. Okay, yeah. so firstly, thank you so much for sharing, and thank you so much for um, uh, telling us what's going on. I can imagine that must feel awful. Yeah. To logically know, she hasn't done anything. She hasn't done anything for three years. Um, I could have done something about it, but I just didn't. And to feel that every single day, I just yes. really acknowledge you and want to send out a million hugs to you because that is not easy to carry around. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because I, I, I it's, it, it's always, it's always there, and I'm always frustrated. It's always been my dream to have a horse. I never thought I'd have a horse. You know, and um, it's always been my dream to get on and ride into the sunset. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, what, what, what dream horse are you riding off to the sunset? Is it the horse oh, you're right now? Well, my horse now, um, she's, she's really sweet. She's part um, halflinger. She's a halflinger paint cross. And she's really sweet. Everybody loves her. But um, I don't know. I cannot... Um, I, I can't canter on her. I cantered on other horses before years ago, or actually recently I, I cantered on other horses, but I just can't on her. She just won't, she doesn't want to canter. Other people have tried to canter on her and they can't. One or two people can, but I think she's maybe a little lazy or she just, maybe she just feels it from me that I'm scared. I'm going to say, um, I'm sure. So I, I'm sure she can canter, but I'm sure she's listening to what you're really telling her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, is it cool yeah. if we fix this today? What's that? Is this cool if we um, remove this for you today? If you remove it? Yeah, if, you, if we remove this fear and remove this feeling of um, what's going to happen and I don't know what's going to happen and I don't know if I can handle what's going to happen. Would it be all right if we remove that for you today and just left fun, love, joy and excitement? Oh, yeah. Do I have your unconscious permission to do that? Yes. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. All right. So um, we've got this dream to own a horse. Okay, and you, you've now tick, you've got that dream, but you want to ride off into the sunset with fun, love, joy and excitement in your heart. That's the piece that's missing. Is that correct? Yes. 
Yeah. And I really acknowledge you. I think you're a freaking champion to how old are you? Oh, you don't need to share if you just give me a decade. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> sorry, I talk so quick. Um, <laughs> just give me a decade of what, you, what, what year you're in. Are you in your 40s, your 30s? Oh, I'm in my 60s. I love it. So <laughs> you gorgeous woman, you're in your 60s and you're like, God damn it, I'm going to have this dream. So I really acknowledge you for it. And I can see how successful, I'm, I'm going to have so much fun working with you because I can already tell you're committed, you're tenacious, you're going after this. And you just a little part of you standing in your way. So that's where I see the frustration and the pain. And yeah, if it's cool with you, we'll, we'll get rid of that today. All right. Okay. <laughs> Great, great, great. So um, let's talk more about, you said 20 years ago, that's when the incident happened. And ever since then, you've got this picture in your mind of this horse taking off on you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about, is it a picture or is it a movie? Does it move or is it just a still shot? Tell me all about it. I'm so curious. Oh, boy. That's hard. Um. I, I didn't say this was going to be easy, Sheila. <laughs> yeah, I, wow, that's a good question. Um, I, I, oh. You tell me how you do it. I, I think, okay, um, I think it's more of a, well, it's a picture. Yeah, it's a picture. I mean, I can see it. Is it flat or panoramic? I, so is there a screen that? around it? Like a, a screen? Frame? Or is it panoramic? Is it the whole, everything you see is the picture? Or is it like a little picture frame and you see a photo in it? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's such a, wow. I don't know. Uh, hey, okay. you know I'm sure you're used to looking at it. You tell me. I, what you I think it's panoramic. I think panoramic. it's panoramic. Yeah. Is it colour or black and white? Color. Yeah. Are you in the picture? Um, am I in the picture? Wow. I think so. I think so. Maybe it's not you. It's not? I don't know. You tell me. You go <laughs> for it right now and you tell me. Yeah, it's me. You, yep. And are you looking at yourself in the picture or are you seeing the reins and the neck in front of you? Are you inside the picture or are you observing the picture? Wow. Oh my God. This is too hard. Um, wow. I... I think, I think I'm in there. I think I'm in the picture. Okay. So you said you've been living with this picture for 20 years. It sounds a bit fuzzy. It sounds like it's not that clear. Yeah. So I think maybe it's more like a feeling. Okay. Tell me about the feeling. The feeling is, gosh, the feeling is like, it's just a, a, it's a panic. It's like, it's just like a, a dread. It's kind of like a dread, panic. Um. Back to this feeling of panic and dread. If yeah. you have a shape, what kind of shape is it? Is it misty? Is it solid? Is it heavy? Is it, what, what kind of shape and consistency does it have? Oh my God. A shape. If it was Whoa. Picture, you're you're Whoa. the one who's got the feeling. So get, get <laughs> in touch with that feeling and go, okay, yeah, is it big? Is it little? It's where it's big. It? It's where big. Is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think well, I think it's in my head. I mean it might be kind of in my stomach too, but for some reason it feels like it's more in my head. Yeah. And is it yeah. heavy or light? And does it feel solid like a piece of wood or a piece of metal or is it more wispy? Wow. Um, 
what if I, what if I don't know? What if I, if you, if you don't know, I firstly then go, well, it can't be that strong. If you're really not sure if it even has a shape or if it even is heavy, then maybe you, you don't even have that feeling when you ride. But it's, but it, but it is. I mean, it's, it's. So connect with that. You know it's there. Yes, it's a feeling. So is it solid? Is it heavy? Like, is it five kilos? If I got rid of it, would you weigh less? (laughs) <laughs> oh i think so oh yeah i think a hundred grams 10 kilos what are we talking about here i i think it's like a heavy cloak love I it i think it's like Thank you. Whole, good job yeah that's it's good. like a, that's what it is it's like a lead cloak lead. Okay, yeah. yes what color yeah. is it? what what color is a lead heavy cloak Can you just tell me what color does it feel like it is blue bluish green maybe blue green and a, a light um, blue green or um a really really dark blue green dark yeah dark okay great you're doing such a great job okay and how much did we say the weight is once i've removed it how many kilos are we gonna let it oh okay i don't know kilos because i'm in america yeah <laughs> you, you do the pounds <laughs> Um, maybe about tw- 25. Wow. That's a lot, huh? A lot, yeah. Good on <laughs> you. You're a muscle woman carrying that around. Yeah, okay. I don't like it. <laughs> so this feeling, I, I completely understand. All right, so this feeling of this dark cloak somewhere in your head and then sometimes in your belly, well, it's a cloak, so it's pretty much all over. Yeah. You would feel that when it's gone, wouldn't you? I would, yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you cool to do an exercise with me? Okay. Yep. Okay. So just going to require you to close your eyes. Okay. okay. And have a nice relax. Take a deep breath. And what I want you to do is visualize your timeline. So I'm going to get you to notice that you are in the present moment of now. And I just want you to, this is listening to your gut. There's no right or wrong answer. I just want you to point to where your future is. My future? Yeah, just point. Where's your future? Okay. Great job. Yep. And I just want you to now go ahead and look behind you, or not behind you, anywhere you need to. Where is your past? My past? Yes. Oh, do it, but keep my eyes closed? Yeah, yeah. Just point to your past. Oh, okay. Right. And um, do you see, does your timeline run through you or um, outside of you? So if your past is behind you and your future is in front of you to the right, um, where is now? Where is the present moment? Is it inside you or is it to the side of you? Um, uh, It's inside me. Great. Yep. So your timeline runs through you. That's great. Are you always, um, uh, if your timeline runs through you, I would say that you're always um, uh, on time for your appointments. Would that be true? Uh, not always. <laughs> All right. Well, you, at least you're ready for this one. So yeah. if, you run, if your timeline runs through you, you're on time. When it runs outside of you, you have no awareness of time, so you tend to be late. Yeah. So, okay. So now what I want you to do is float up above your timeline. Is do what? I'm sorry. Okay, you're right. What I want you to do is right now you're inside your body. What I want you to do is float up above your timeline. Come out of your body and float up way up high above your timeline. Oh, okay. 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 And what I want you to do is float back to your past, all the way back to that moment in time 20 years ago when you broke a rib and you had that horse take off on you. Okay. And tell me when you're there. Okay, I'm there. Okay. What I want you to do is float down inside that moment and tell me what you feel. Um, oh, wow. Uh, okay, I can't. Uh, I have, I'm having a hard time breathing. 
yeah, that's okay. Because okay. I remember, yeah. Because yeah. I remember when I, I fell on the floor, I fell, I was on the ground and I, I couldn't, I could hardly breathe and the ambulance came. And you're feeling that right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is float back up, way up high. And notice as you float higher and higher, that feeling of not being able to breathe is getting less and less and less. And you just tell me, float up as high as you need to until all the feeling has disappeared again. Okay. Yeah. And you say you're feeling nothing? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. What I want you to notice is way up high, way up there is a place where only love, wisdom and understanding resides. It's a place where you're safe, where you can only feel love and this deep, deep understanding and genius of the universe resides there. What I want you to do is ask this wisdom and understanding, what are the lessons that I need to learn to resolve this now and to move forward in my future without this holding me back? What do you mm. need to learn? You, you, okay. you want me to do that? Yeah, I want you to ask and then I want you to tell me what the answers are. Should I ask out loud or in, to myself <laughs> or to... You do whatever feels right and natural to you. There is no right or wrong in any of this. Okay. Great job. Okay. Oh, um. Uh, I don't, gosh, I don't know. Um, what is the lesson that you need to learn here? What did you make this event mean? What, what did it mean? Yeah, what did you make this event mean? Wait, so just, just stay in a comfortable position with your eyes closed. Okay. Do you agree that you've lived over 60 years on the planet? Do you remember every single day of your 60 years? No. No. Do you remember this day? Yeah. yeah. So there's a reason you remember this day. You made this event mean something. What did you make it mean? That, that there's fear. Yeah. That, that life is is fearful there's, there's there's fear and 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 you know i need to be afraid and i i i really can't just do what i want to do because i'm always afraid and i i i just i don't have confidence in myself and I can't just go out there and do what other people do because I'm, I'm always afraid. And yeah. <laughs> um, Did you know that you made it mean that? What's that? Did you know that you made it mean all of that? No, I didn't know, but that's how I feel now. Absolutely. And I'm sure, did you notice other things changing for you to say, I can't do what others can do. I can't just do what I want to do. Did your life change after that moment? Just not just in your writing, but in a lot of other things as well. Oh, um, I, I, I don't really remember so much. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it did. I don't. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Okay. Is this reality? Can you do what others can do? Can you just do what you want to do? Um. I pro. I. I probably can, but I don't feel like I can. Yeah. Float up higher. 
There's no feeling here. It's weird. What's that? Float up higher. There is no feeling here. Just wisdom and understanding. Yeah. You made it mean that you can't just do what you want to do, that you have no confidence. I can't do what others can do. I need to be afraid. Life is fearful. Yeah. A lesson here. None of those things are actually true. So, so, yeah, it's just what I, it's what I've learned. Right. Did you learn before. this before this event? I'm sorry, what? So, and, and just go with your gut. Don't try and think of a logical answer. I just want you to connect with your truest self. Did you learn this before this event on the horse? Yes. Yes. Float up, go back in your past, go float down even more into your timeline and take me to the root cause of when you learned this lesson. Go back all the way in the past. It might even be in a past life. It might even be in utero. It doesn't matter where it is. Just take me all the way back to the first moment where you learned these, this this thing of I can't do what others can do. I can't do what I want. Life is to be fearful. I need to be afraid. Take me back to the first moment. Hmm. I, I, can, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't have a moment. I, I, I don't know. I can't think trust of a yourself. moment. Just, just relax. Just trust yourself and tell okay. your body and your mind to take you back to that first time that you learned this lesson. You don't need to remember it. You don't need to know what it's about. It's going to be very far back in your timeline when you were a child or even before, as I said, as a baby, in utero, in a past life. There's no right or wrong answer. Just tell me the answer that pops up for you. How old were you when you first learnt this idea? Okay, I want to say two. Right. Good job. Well done, Sheila. That's great. Okay. And can you see anything about the event or do you just, there's nothing, it's all dark, you, you just know you were two? Okay, I'll just, what, I, what I'm picturing, I'm just picturing that I'm trying to learn how to walk and I fall down and, and my mother has a fit that I fell down. Oh my God, she, I fell down. Um, that's, that's how I picture it because yeah, that's how my that's how my mother was you're doing great you're doing great Sheila okay what I want you to do is float out out of that event float up way up high where love wisdom and understanding reside and I want you to think what is the lesson to be learned here and it's not the lesson you learned you learned life is to be fearful I need to be afraid I can't do what others can do I can't do what I want to do. That's what you learned, but you were two. That's the decision you made and what you thought, the work, how the world worked when you were two and you didn't have any other information. Now you are a beautiful, strong, committed, tenacious woman in her 60s that has so much more knowledge and so much more understanding of how the world works. And you tell me, what, are the, what would you have liked to have learned there? Instead of what may, what you did take on for the rest of your life, what did you want to learn instead? Oh, I would like to have learned that, that you know, I can, I can do anything, you know, I, I'm, that I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm, I, you know, I can, I can do what I, what I put my mind to, you know, that I have... I have abilities, you know, I'm, I, I have confidence and, and um, I can do it, you know, you, I can do, you know, whatever I, you know, whatever I want to do, I, you know, I can do it, you know. I want you to really feel those feelings of, 
I have confidence. I can do anything. I'm strong. I can do what I put my mind to. I have abilities. I can do it. I want you to feel yeah. feelings through your whole body. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and I'm, and I'm smart. You know, I wanted to feel like I'm, I'm smart. I'm, I am smart. You know, I am, you know, I'm intelligent. I'm, I'm, I have wisdom. I have, you know, I have confidence. I, I can do what, what I put my mind to, to, to doing, you know, I can, you know, everything's okay. <laughs> you know, you can do, I can do it. You know? Absolutely. So all these feelings of I'm smart, I have wisdom, everything is okay. I can do anything I put my mind to. I'm strong. I have confidence. I have abilities. I can do it. All of those feelings, if they were to have a color, what color would they be? Yellow. Yellow. I love it. And if they were to have a shape, what kind of shape? A uh, circle. A circle. And where in your body do you feel the circle? Is it surrounding you? Is it in your body? Is it outside of you, surrounding you? Um, probably it's surrounding me. So I yeah, love it. Surrounding. Good, good job. Okay. So what I want you to do is really take all these feelings of I have confidence, I can do anything, I'm strong, I can do what I put my mind to, I have abilities, I can do it, I'm smart, I have wisdom, everything is okay. And I want you to see yourself bathed in this yellow circle of light and this yellow circle that's got you and protecting you and making sure that you always remember this lesson because this is the lesson that you were meant to have learnt and this is what you need to take forward to your compelling future. Mm -hmm. I want you to notice that this yellow circle protects you and nothing can harm it and nothing can change it because it's always been there and it always will be there from now on because now you know how to find it and how to tap into it again. So in this yellow circle, I want you to go back down um, into that event when you were learning how to work as, walk as a two-year-old and I want you to tell me, what do you feel now? Oh, wow. Well, I am walking and <laughs> I am feeling good about myself. I love it. Really good job, Sheila. Okay, now what I want you to do is float back up and I want you to start floating along um, from that past moment all the way until we get to the event um, where 20 years ago when you had that horse incident. But what I want you to do is only float as, as quickly as you can while replacing every single one of your memories with this new yellow circle of light, with this new understanding of I have confidence, I can do anything, I can do what I put my mind to, I'm strong, I have abilities, I can do it, I'm smart, I have wisdom, everything is okay. Just wash over those memories with this yellow circle of light all the way until you get to this 20 year, year ago event of this horse incident and tell me when you're there. Okay. Okay. And what I want you to do is go into that event with your yellow circle of light and tell me what you feel. Okay. Do I want, okay. I feel, wow, um, I feel kind of insulated. Right. Can you breathe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Enjoy that, that memory now with your yellow circle of light, being able to breathe, this beautiful feeling. And I want you to come back along your timeline all the way back to this moment present of now, only as quickly as you can, replacing all your learnings alongside this yellow circle of light of I have confidence, I can do anything, I'm strong, I can do what I put my mind to, I have abilities, I can do it, I'm smart, I have wisdom, everything is okay. All the way back to now, only as quickly as you can do that. And when you're back in the room, you can open your eyes. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Incredible. Woo. That was fantastic.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you know yeah. that? All that That's stuff that we discovered. That, that your horse incident was never about your horse riding fears, nothing to do with any of that. Started when you were two. Mm. And wow. we're soft that now. Wow. I, I yeah. <laughs> really? I, I, I had, I mean, you know. I kind of had a feeling about that, <laughs> that it's, you know. Really good. Okay, so yeah, I just want to yeah. test. Um, when are you going to ride next? Tomorrow, in a week? When are we riding next? Well, I, I probably, I, I want to go tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so just let me do, i got to do this last bit a little bit. So tomorrow, um, you're going to go riding. And I just want you to project out now into your future. You're going to go riding. Tell me how you're going to feel. Oh, I'm going to feel like I've got this. I'm going to get on my horse and I'm just going to feel like I, you know, I, I've got this. I'm just, I'm, I got this. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Now yeah. I want to project two months from now. What's your riding like now in two months from now with this yellow circle of light and I freaking got this and I'm smart and I can do this and I'm confident. What's your riding looking two like? Two months from now, I'm gonna go because I, right now I, I can't I don't I can't go out by myself on you, the trail. But two months from now, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go out, out there. Trail. Yep, I love I'm it. Go. What about yes. twelve months from now? Go out into your future. Twelve months from now, what's your riding looking like? 12 months from now, woo, 12 months from now, oh boy, I'm, well, I'm just going to be going out there, I'm going to be getting on my horse, like, like, you know, just like, no problem. Living your dream, I think. Oh, comfortable, just, yeah, just comfortable and relaxed and you know, just get on my horse and go and not be worried. I love it. All right. I want you to enjoy the rest of today. You are going to be buzzing. You are going to think all the colors have been turned up in the world. Everything's going to be different, but in a really awesome way because everything is now through your yellow filter of I have confidence. I can do anything. I'm strong. I can do what I put my mind to. I have abilities. I can do it. I'm smart. I have wisdom and everything is okay. You are going to love the rest of your day. Enjoy it. Enjoy that <laughs> feeling and um, enjoy your ride tomorrow. Oh my God, the horse will be different. You will be different. Everything will be so extraordinary. <laughs> and um, then I'll check in with you in a couple of days and um, I'd love to hear how your ride went. Okay, great. Is Thank you so much. Oh, it's my absolute pleasure. Is there anything else you need from me to make this more complete for you now? Oh, I, 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 I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I can't think of anything. But um, I guess I'll just, I just keep, keep going on the program. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. you'll, you'll as, um, as you go through the program, you'll, you'll notice the things that I kind of have used with you today, and. Um, yeah. Yeah, like it'll just, you know, even more stuff will, you'll be able to use these tools that you're learning in the program to even more have some fun. But the, the core thing, which was this two-year-old thing's done, so this whole yellow filter and this whole yellow circle protecting you is yours to keep forever. All right. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I, I, oh, I, I, I've been wanting you. this so so badly. <laughs> oh, well, it is my absolute pleasure. You are extraordinary to work with, and thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye. I'd love to invite you to my free fear training class on how to overcome your fear and ride confidently without feeling nervous, anxious, and out of control. In this free training class, you're going to learn how to have unshakable confidence on your horse, even if you've had your riding fears for years, using a powerful training tool. I'm also going to teach you that you don't need to ride your horse to make the fear go away. You can overcome your riding fear off the horse. You'll also learn how you can ride confidently regardless if your horse is playing up, being naughty or trying to throw you off. You'll smile and laugh at the situation now. So click the link below to join us in the free class.